Hi, I'm Craig Levins. Good day, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to focus on customizing bullets and numbering, also known as your advanced bullets and numbering. So we already know that if we highlight all of this over here, we can go up to our bullets and we can define a particular bullet, right? Now they're asking us to do something more intricate. They're asking us, well, they want us to change the bullets to a dollar sign, a particular size, uh, formatting applied to it as well, and some paragraph spacing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just highlight everything, right? We're going to go up to our bullets, and instead of choosing one of these, we're going to go to define new bullet. So we're going to put this in the middle here so you can see. First thing they want us to do is change it to a dollar sign. So we're going to go to symbol and we're going to go find our dollar sign. It's generally under wingdings. Um, you should be able to, in fact, um, where I found it was under normal text, and there you go, there's our dollar sign, and we click OK. So you can already see we've done that, right? Then they're saying they want it to be size 12, so we click on font, we go to size 12, they want it to be bold, so we're going to click on bold, and they want it to be blue. So this area pertains to the font color of this actual symbol, I'm just going to choose any blue. Um, whereas this is your underlying style and your underlying color if you need that. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK because there's nothing else for spacing over here. Click OK, you can see that changes. Then I need to do the paragraph spacing, which is obviously under our paragraph category here. We click on spacing. There's nothing about, you know, before and after here. So we're going to go to line spacing options and they're saying three points after. So we go to after and... We're just going to type in the number three and click OK. And there you can see that is done. Let's go to the next example. This one deals with numbering. So again, I'm going to highlight everything. Then I'm going to read the instructions. Change the numbering to Roman numbers. There's an example of what they want it to look like. Chiller font, uh, size 14, double underline black. Right. Same story. We go to our numbering. We go to define new number format because we're doing customizing. Number style, what do they want? Roman numbers. They are Roman numbers. We click on that. Let's go to the font. What do they want? They want the uh, font to be chiller. So let's go and get chiller over there. I think I went past it. No. Here we go. Chiller. Size. 14 and they want a double underline style and they want that underline style to be in black okay i think that's about everything we click okay there we can already see what it looks like we click okay click okay again and there we have it in place now um i know sometimes they deal with multi-level lists and you'll see here uh, when i go uh, to my numbering in fact, if I go to list level uh, of that numbering, we can see that if I am going to tab any of these numbers over to the right hand side, the numbering is going to change. OK, so, for example, if I click next to cover and I use the tab button, you can see that this is number one or I and then it's a right when I move it over. If I move it over again, you can see how it changes. So you can see, um, you know, you can have obviously subsections of your particular numbering but as you do that um, you can see how it changes accordingly and then you can see that these main numbers remain one two three but a is now obviously a subheading of number one this is you know a sub of that etc and that's basically our uh, advanced bullets and numbering